What's up, my people? It's your girl with Tomboy Chronicles with another backstory from the album, Her Story. Um, it's a real nasty day today. And um, I don't know, it's just because the mood I'm in that the rain and stuff kind of fits that mood I'm in. But um, I'm going to do the backstory for chapter two and three since they go together. Um, chapter three is a, a poem my first love wrote back in high school the only poem I've known him to write um, so chapter two really tells the story of how me and my first love found each other and um, you know I know a lot of talking people don't want to hear blah 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 it just gives an insight to my life of my mindset growing up and you know and the first love relationship that I've ever been in and um, and then chapter two tells that story better than I can tell it here and then him um, writing writing the, the poem which I recited on chapter three um, and the, the poem that he wrote is very short it's only like a 30 second video I think it's only 22 seconds actually of reciting the poem um, basically he wrote it about our relationship and um, you know again chapter two tells the story chapter three um, just me reciting the poem um, it was very hard for me to listen back to chapter two and three because this was someone that was very important in my life, a very, very significant part of my life to up until this day. So um, when I say that her story is my actual story, it's like my feelings, my thoughts, my past, uh, people in my life that touched me in a way that helped develop who I am and how I see love and how I see relationships and how I see people um but you know basically that's what it's about so if you want to listen to chapter two first and you know quickly listen to that and just hear me recite the poem there's no music to it or anything it's just me rec reciting the poem because I thought it was important to add it to my story because this person was a significant part of my story um but with that being said um past couple of weeks since the album has come out you know you start noticing um who's there for you and who's not there for you and, it, and so my story is still being written um I'm becoming a different person I'm setting up serious boundaries with people I'm taking the power back and um keeping it with me my productive energy needs to stay with me, you know, so I'm more right now where, you know, people expect me to worry about them more than myself. And I'm at the point now that I can't do that anymore. I don't have the mental capacity. I don't have, I really don't have the care. <laughs> it's sad to say is like, I don't have the care because what I do is, you know, someone said, I care about what people think. Yes, I care about what the people I care about that care about me think. So if you're there for me and you're a significant part of my life and there's some reciprocity in our friendship or in our relationship, then I'm definitely going to protect that. And I'm going to look out for that and I'm going to cover that friendship, that relationship, whatever it is. But if it's a situation where you're taking, 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 and I'm just supposed to accept it, and I'm supposed to just ignore how I feel, ignore what I want out of life, the things I want out of life, and the people I want to be a part of that, then you just have to go. So, um, just want to say that real quick because I, you know, I've been I've been posting about the album. And if you haven't got the album yet, please, it's on all platforms. Go ahead and purchase the album, download it, add it to your playlist. So you know we can get some streams on those songs that you like the best. I've been getting a lot of great feedback from people how certain songs or pieces that I've done has touched them and and spoke to them and that's the whole purpose of it is like to to reach a far greater audience just than my small cir circle that needs this right now and um feel what I'm saying so so go ahead tonight at seven o'clock um chapter three would drop but uh, I suggest listening to chapter two first before you get to chapter three again chapter three is 30 seconds <laughs> not really that long so the backstory is chapter two first love and then chapter three is if our life was a road it, it was written by carl andre scott jr and recited by me so um it's not an original piece of mine it's just a piece i wanted to add on the album so you guys have a great day if you're in atlanta please be careful out here it's been raining all day and it's been affecting everyone's mood so you guys be blessed and as always love each other i love you bye